Hi, uh, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna test out a Victus XMR build that I got from a subscriber. He commented this build under one of my videos. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna test it out. So Ultra thank you very much, Tom C, for the build. Because uh, yeah, I've obviously already played with it when I was recording my voice. So big thanks for this build because it's, it's awesome. It's a great build. Uh, and I hope other people will enjoy this build as well. I will include the build at the end of the video and I will also include the M4 build that I've been using in this video at the end of the video as well. I, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DMZ content. Maybe even leave a comment down below. And of course, snipe that mother freaking like button. I, now that you're subscribed, we can get started. Some of these videos don't have commentary, so excuse me for that, but I hope you like the video nonetheless. Enjoy watching. Get some! Oh, knocked him. Ah, uh, nah, man. I struggle with the render distance issues, man. Is he... I don't... Oh, never mind. Moving in. Let's go. There he is. Oh. Where's his teammate? Visual, one enemy. He's right there. Got him. I didn't even see him. Nice. Right, let's hope his teammate can't revive him. Ultra One, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. And there's a boat right there. Nice, got him. Car marked. All right, there's people on the train, so I'm just going to lay down, let the train pass, get on the last cart. Oh, they're right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Back to the lobby, dude. Oh, he died from the train. Grab his fast. What? Come on. Oh, I hear a vehicle. Cool. 
Nice. Back to the lobby. <laughs> There's a guy jumping from the tower, no one on the supply drop. Oh, there's another dude. Hi. <laughs> Easy. Oh, hitbox. Oh, these hitboxes, man. <laughs> Invisible hitboxes everywhere. Thank you, CVA. Thank you. Yeah, these guys ain't getting away. More to strike. So his teammate can't revive him and I can reposition. Right, if you've made it this far into my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DMZ content. Maybe even leave a comment down below. And of course, snipe that mother freaking like button. Right, so he's right there on the other building, right, right next to the to the to the car, I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh man, I hit that invisible hitbox again on the billboard, dude. Luckily, I got him though. Oh. Hey, it's 1-1. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> one, one. Sniper battle. May the best man win. Uh, I use a revive pistol. So my self revive is still equipped. I mean, yeah, I'm just... Oh, duck down. Hey, he's down. Let's hope he doesn't have another cell for five. Alright, just in case he's reviving, I'm gonna reposition. Nice. Got him. Ultra one activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. Oh, vehicle. Oh, there's a dude there. He's jumping. Oh, there's a vehicle as well. Come on, dudes. Oh, come on, dudes. There we go, one down, two to go. Two down, one to go. 
Right, let me quickly reposition. Ultra One, an operator is requesting medical near your location. Oh, she's calling me good. <laughs> oh, not that good. <laughs> I missed this jump, wow. Oh, he's, he's right there next to that little building on the left. Uh, he's moving, he's moving in. Oh yeah. Oh. I got him, team wiped. Three down, let's go. That's what I mean, man. <laughs> this build is different. <laughs> UAV tower marked. Alright, get him. Before you can activate the UAV tower quickly. Mean Mr. Acid. Back to the lobby. Ultra One, use your tax Sniper. map to locate Stable. contracts awarding cash. Alright, let's get this guy Moving here. trying to revive his teammate. Got one right here. This thing I can't get a clear shot. Probably gonna self res. Oh. He's getting in the car. I got a hit marker though. Probably a body shot quickly. Get in between these generators just to... Hide for this guy in the truck because I don't want him to drive over me. He's yeah, he's driving circles. Right, I'm just gonna get on the mountain. Come on, there we go. Battery depleted for 
Sentry. Sentry gone. Back to the lobby, dudes. <laughs> There still has to be like one guy, right? But maybe he figured like, nah, this sucks. I'm going to leave. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, so he's not, he's still here. Oh, watch out. Let me just quickly get in the car and flank this dude. <laughs> oh no way dude. <laughs> My driving skills man. My god. Oh wait, hold on, he's here? Dude, right there. He's no longer there. Because I sent him back to the lobby. <laughs> Ultra one, the enemy is on high alert. Oh, dude, right there. Oh, on the hill, too. Where? Didn't see them, though. Oh, dude, parachuting. Oh, there's a lot of activity here, man. Oh, right there. time dude I right, before we dive into the builds make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DMZ content you'll get notified whenever I go live or upload a video and it also helps my channel grow I've almost got 10k subscribers so let's go I right, diving in this is the m4 that I've been using it's it's great it's it's insane I love the m4 it's definitely my most favorite AR in the game All right so I took the 60 60 round mag so you can just spray and pray <laughs> and for the underbarrel i took the f -Tech ripper it has great aiming idle stability hip fire accuracy and recoil stabilization so the aiming idle stability i took all the way to plus dot 34 and the recoil stabilization i took to plus 59 these are both sweet spots they increase the most and reduce the others the least so just do it like this don't don't max it out if you if you max it out look it the accuracy actually shrinks so you want it to be here because this is the max accuracy and this just shrinks the accuracy which you don't want so that's why i don't max out everything all right the barrel the 14 inch carbine shroud i took this one because it oh it reduces the least uh handling and mobility 
which is great, of course, because you still want to be very mobile and you want great handling on this on this weapon. So I maxed these out all the way because, uh, yeah, that's just the best the best stat on this tuning. Right. So the muzzle is the Harbinger D20. Um, this is how I tuned it. Aiming idle stability minus 52 and recoil smoothness all the way. So this is again a sweet spot. Don't mess with it. Just leave it at this number. Trust me. <laughs> all right. The laser FSS Ole V laser, my favorite laser for uh, this weapon for assault rifles. Uh, this is how I tuned it. Aim down side speed minus 31.26. And sprint to fire speed minus dot sixteen. Right. It it's a great it's a great laser. It doesn't it doesn't show when you're uh when you don't have um the weapon in ADS you, it, when you're not aiming down sight. Um this laser is not visible when you're aiming down sight, so it's great because you don't want a laser that's always visible because it's super, super annoying. Even even when you're running uh, or using the spotter scope, your laser will be visible, which is, yeah, which is very, very, very bad because you'll be easier to spot. All right, that's the, the build. Oh, uh, yeah, and just so you guys know, I'm not using a optic because I actually really like the iron sights on the m4 so that's why i chose not to go for optic uh, if you want to have an optic on there i'd suggest you take one of the like one of the red dots this one this one or maybe the Cronin mini this one's actually quite good so this one i i enjoy this one but yeah i enjoy the the iron sights more so i just go for this Hi, next up is the Victus build that Tom C gave me. Tom, I do have to say I did adjust the tuning a little bit because uh, maxing out everything is not the best. Uh, you'll see, you'll see why. Right, so I took the VLK LZR 7 megawatts laser instead of uh, the Corio 13 times uh, VRS scope. Um, that I usually always take. This increases the aiming stability a bit more. So yeah, I figured let's let's go for that. And this scope is actually not too bad, the default scope. The only thing that I don't like is that the, the center of the scope is quite thick and it's sometimes hard to see if you're uh, if you're centering on, on their heads. So it's it's a little bit harder to make headshots with. Um, compared to with the choreo scope so if you don't want this scope just take the laser off and take the choreo <laughs> the choreo 13 times this scope it's um it's a very nice scope it's more clean it has very clean uh sights so it's uh yeah it's a it's a great this one's this one's just great it has variables zoom as well so that's actually quite good all right um yeah the laser i tuned it like Oh, hold on. Sorry. I tuned it like this. Um, yeah, I didn't max it out because, look, I'll show you. If you max it out, the accuracy and the handling actually reduce a little bit. So I didn't max it out. There's a sweet spot right about here. Oh, sorry. It's here. Somewhere around here, uh, 42, I know it's 42.77, but I can't get it to 77. <laughs> so 42.79, that's, that's like the sweet spot. And then, um, this one I max out all the way. All right. The barrel, the Mac 8 33.5 super. I don't think you'll find a Victus build without this barrel, to be honest, because this barrel is just insane. It increases the damage. It has hip fire accuracy and bullet velocity, and those are all stats that you want to have on the on the Victus. All right, so the damage range again, sweet spot right here. Uh, dot 34, don't mess with it. And uh, recoil steadiness, you can just max out. All right, the muzzle, I took the Bruin counter ops again and 
this one is maxed out on bullet velocity and there's a sweet spot here minus 1.08 don't mess with it <laughs> trust me minus 0.08 so as you can see if you max it out look nothing changes from this point on the only thing that really changes is the handling decreases so you just want to bring it here because this is where the the handling starts decreasing so that's why you don't max out everything all the time all right the bullets once again the high velocity and this how i tuned it sweet spot right here uh 3.19 don't max it out all the way because as you can see look it looks like it increases again but actually at 319 if i can find 319 again no he's, he's not gonna let me right 315 all right we'll put it at 320 the, these are actually better than when you max it out so these stats are better than when you max it out and the same goes for damage range don't don't bring it above this because it only slightly increases the damage range and it just decreases the recoil and the accuracy quite a bit so yeah just put it here because this is where uh, if you go over this limit the accuracy and the recoil start dropping so just leave it here and as you can see it doesn't make much of a difference on the damage All right so the last attachment on this build is the stock, the FTAC Homeland. And this one's just great because it increases the aiming stability by a mile. And once again, sweet spot right here, uh, 139, leave it like that. And minus dot two, uh, dot 32, uh, aim down side speed. So I just leave these, they're sweet spots. Don't mess with them. <laughs> Right, so yeah those are the builds that i've been using in this video i hope you enjoy these builds if you're going to use them yourself if you have any suggestions just let me know in the comments and while you're at it make sure to subscribe because i've almost got 10k subscribers which is great so if you want to be one of the og subs that were here before the 10k then sub now <laughs> i make sure to snipe that mother freaking like button and enjoy playing with these builds I see you in the next one. Peace.